Hello and welcome back to our Montana Grizzlies Dynasty in NCAA Football 2007. Today we're taking on the Kent State Golden Flashes and the Akron Zips in some action. Should be a couple good games. Kent State 3-5 and five on the season. They're traveling to Missoula to take on the Grizzlies. And then we will be traveling to Akron, Ohio to take on the 2-6 and six Zips. Take a look at our in-season recruiting. See what's happening over there. We did get uh, Dennis Campbell. And now we're dumping the rest of our points into these guys. We got Keith Lindsey, four-star receiver out of Danville, California. Jonathan Cobbs out of East Los Angeles, California. He's a tackle, six foot nine. He's been my go-to guy to get this off or this uh, in-season recruiting cycle. And from Huntington Park, California, Sam Daniels, right tackle. So we're really trying to beef up the offensive line. Evan Butcher, hello, hello, hello. How are you? What's going on? John Perez, Xavier Green, how's everybody doing? Evan, don't think I've seen you before, but welcome. Appreciate you stopping by and hope to see you in future streams as well. All right. But we have to have a good showing here in these couple games. Uh, let's see. Offensive rankings. We're 51st in the country. Kent State, they're 73rd. They have a really good defense, though, only allowing 278 yards per game, which is a very surprising stat. Only allowing 145 through the air. That is kind of bonkers. Our defense is 70th. Uh, but we, yeah, our curve difference was awful. I don't even want to talk about it. Let's, <laughs> let's just get into the game. Hopefully it's a good one. Hopefully you guys are having a great Monday. It's been beautiful for me because, well, I'm not at work. I'm home. All right. I don't remember what playbook we were running. Running gun? Sure, we'll do that. Um, Grizz, there we go. That's the one. Got to make sure we got the right profile. I played with the wrong profile before. All right, let's get it, boys. Don't forget to slap the like button and subscribe if you are new. We are ranked 60th currently. We're without Concepcion, who has 24 tackles on the season uh, in this game. Lynch, over 1,000 rushing yards. Not too shabby, but their running back's pretty good, too. 812 yards for Austin on the ground this season. But they're without a couple offensive linemen. Money's been good so far. Nice. Love to see that. You know, I've worked until three. Nice. Very nice. Normally don't watch. You watch afterwards. Caught one once as soon as I was saying goodbye. That's tough. <laughs> All right. Yeah, usually, you know, I get out of work at like 3.30, so I get home a little bit before 4 o'clock most days and, uh, you know, take care of my dog and everything. And then prepare for streams usually throughout the week. All right, let's get this ground game popping. That's not a good start. The tight end just stopped blocking for us there. Only a one-yard pickup. We win this game, and we are bowl eligible. So let's do that, shall we? That would be great. All right, here we go. Here we go. All right, fullback not helping us out there. It's a little unfortunate. All right, we got third down and six. Let's go wide receiver slants. Some Kathy news. Season 2 has started. You're 1 and 2. Diego balled out. Against us in the Mizzou game. Oh, no. That's that's unfortunate for you. Oh, what a throw. And Richardson's going to fumble it. And we turn it over on the first drive of the game. That is extremely unfortunate. Definitely not how we wanted to start the game. Turnover differential has been... 
a thorn in our backside this season, and you know it's not helping us already here today. We just can't hold on to the football. Super frustrating. All right, let's go. Get it back, defense. Here we go, nice play. I don't know who that was. It was Carroll, the right end, our star player. I gotta turn the game up in my headset. I need the crowd volume just blasting my eardrum. Come on, D, get there. Okay, that was a bad throw. We'll take that. And third down 11 coming up. Let's go cover three zone. Defensive end, Carroll is on fire. Get him. Oh, no way he caught that. First and goal, Kent State. Man, I thought we had the pick. Now oh, you weren't the cause of the turnover, Xavier. My guys just don't know how to hold on to the football. <laughs> I don't know why. We just fumble it so much. It's crazy. Direct snap. Miles Dawkins in the house. All right, let's go. Let's go Thunder Green. That running back is like five foot six. Like holy smokes, he's small. Oh, I got killed. Oh, we should have had that pick. Come on, brother, catch it. Killing me. It's a big play, third and goal for the Grizzly defense. Come on, boys, get him, get him. He's wide open, out of bounds. Goal line stand, very nice. We'll take it. Oh my goodness. All right, Kent State on top, 3-0 after the Montana fumble on the first drive. All right, here we go. Terrible camera. Right, let's try to get him with some play action. A little play action roll out to the right. Who's open? Wide open. Tight end. First down past the 40. Good play. Good throw from Brandon White. He got rocked. ball a little bit. Man, they're stacking the box. It's a three-yard carry. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Nice tackle by the cornerback. Try to go for a stiff arm there. Still a good run, though. Go slants. White scrambling. Picking up a few. We'll take that. Four yard carry. 
Time to go for a blast. Nice strong run from Lynch. Four more yards. Five yards, actually. And now we go ISO. Oh boy. I mean, they blitzed everybody. <laughs> Holy smokes. Yeah, they did a safety blitz and everything. Oh, they're going to get him for a penalty anyway. First down for the Grizzlies. Let's go. We take that for sure. Beautiful. Fourth down conversions this season were 41%. That's 95th in the country. That's terrible. Towards the end zone. Caught! Touchdown! Montana! The penalty comes back to bite Kent State. We score on the very next play on a beautiful throw from Brandon White. Let's go! Man, that was pretty. Yeah, the play action definitely got him. Extra point is good. It's seven to three, Montana. Seven place, seventy-eight yard touchdown drive. Oh, and uh, Montana State. I forgot to tell you guys, Montana State won their first game of the season. They beat Temple. They are no longer winless. Marvin Jelson, what's going on, brother? You joined the stream and I threw a touchdown. The luck has arrived. Yes, sir. Impeccable timing. That's like Kaz uh, joined the stream earlier. And as soon as he joined, <laughs> we had a three-run home run. It was awesome. As soon as I said his name, I swung and just killed it. All right, defense. Let's get it, boys. Oh, he faked me out with that. Oh, what a hit. Oh, my goodness. All right, third down, six. Defense putting in that work. Here, boys. Oh, he's wide open. Nice tackle by Wade in the open field. And it's fourth down. All right, let's, let's not taunt. We don't want to give them a first down. And we're going to fair catch this. Whoever thought of this camera angle on returns is a moron. I just I want to point that out. Couldn't see anything there. Let's go slam. Nothing doing. Maybe a couple. Some quick pressure from the Golden Flashes. Close. And yeah, we got a third and eight. Wide open. Richardson, first down Montana. About the 49 yard line. That was a nice throw. 
White having a really good first quarter. Open again is Richardson. He got crushed, but he hangs on for the first down. Let's go play action again. I'm liking play action so far today. Oh boy. This is not good. We're going to have to take off here with White. And we're going to get the first down. Good decision by the quarterback. Getting it up to the 23-yard line. More play action. Uh-oh. And somehow Walker's going to get a few yards out of that. That was that was a risky play. I was rolling out and decided to stop to throw it. Well, we got four yards out of it. I'll take that. And Lynch fighting for it again. Picks up maybe three. He's over 1,100 yards now in the season. 11 touchdowns. That'll end the first quarter. Montana on top, 7-3 to three against the Kent State Golden Flashes. Let's go ISO. That's first down. And Walker, stiff-arming a defender. Fighting all the way to the five-yard line. First and goal, Grizzlies. This has been a great drive. We're going to audible here because they have goal line set. To the end zone, touchdown, Richardson. That was a risky call by Kent State, and it did not pay off for them as they blitzed everybody. Guy yeah, tried to drop back, but he's too late. Beautiful throw over top the heads of two defenders. And Montana with a two-score lead. We are up 11. It's 14 to 3. Two straight touchdowns for the Grizz. came to play today. Yes, sir. Offense has been fantastic. 60 piece of <laughs> I don't know about that. Get him. There we go. Buck Buchanan with a tackle. What a great name. Just a computer generated name. So beautiful. The loss of two. Oh, nice deflection. Quarterback tried to squeeze it through the very small window, and Matt Allen's pass hits the turf. All right, third down and 12 now. Should have been intercepted or deflected, but decides to let the receiver catch it and hit him to force the incomplete pass. 
was definitely the most difficult of all the options presented to him. Come on, Walker. Do something. Decent return. Not bad. Let's go play action. Again. I'm just feeling the play action today. I don't know why. Oh, we got crushed. Uh-oh. My quarterback hurt? Maybe not. Oh, he killed him. Ugh. That's pretty unfortunate. Alright, let's, let's go back to the ground game. Let's go ISO. Here we go. Lynch with a stiff arm and a hurdle and Lynch is gone. Maybe not. Touchdown, Montana. Oh my goodness, what a run. 56 yards to Pater. That safety came out of nowhere. Look at that stiff arm. And a nice little hurdle afterwards. Big lead for Montana now. Twenty one to three here in the second. John, I don't know if you caught any of the uh, Syracuse Orangeman stream earlier, but your guy out in the right field is an absolute beast, man. He made some great plays today. Thought Lynch was dead to rights after the stiff arm. Yeah, I thought for sure he was gonna get tripped up there. But that stiff arm forced the other defender to fall down. Get him. Nice catch on the sideline by Vogel. Papinga, that's another linebacker. We don't want them to get hurt. Go for two on the next touchdown. <laughs> Come on, Marvin. Let it go, buddy. <laughs> oh, my goodness. I'm getting bodied by the center. Oh, wow. This dude has a cannon for an arm. Too bad he was not even close to his target. They're down three. Kent State struggling on offense. Get him. Oh my goodness. The DB comes out <laughs> from his spot to help out and he hurts Allen with a big hit. Probably not the best decision by the quarterback to take off there. He did not look like he has a set of wheels at all. Oh no, Walker. Okay, Walker. Oh, we got pushed out by our own guy. We made something out of nothing there, though. That was, I don't know, that was kind of sketchy. Little bit sketchy. Here we go. Option. Pitch it out. Oh my goodness. Still trying to break tackles, dropped right at the marker. He's got 87 yards here in the first half. Man, 
and he is now in the zone. Let's go slam. They did give him the first down. Papiga out for two quarters with a Bruce Sternum. That's a big loss for our defense, actually. Oh, my goodness. Woo! Some filthy juke moves out here. It looked like it hit the receiver in the hands. Pretty sure it did. Alright, they're down at four. Let's go option. We got Walker in the backfield on this play. We're switching this to the right. And White is not going to get there. Great play by the DB. And we'll take the field goal. It's be a 44-yard try for Henry. Oh, King Henry, won't you make this, please? Kick is up, and Henry got it. Let's go. 24 to three. Is there some swagger after that? <laughs> Lynch is a beast? Yeah, he sure is. He's a monster, man. Get him. There you go, Marvin. It's 24 to 3, buddy. There was no touchdown. But now if we get two safeties, you know, I can't help you there. Come on, boys, get him. Uh-oh. I don't like this. He oh, my goodness. Davis. <laughs> oh, man, what happened, Davis? My brother was lost in the sauce out here. What is he doing? The receiver caught it and dropped it like six times right there, too. I don't know if you guys could hear it, but I definitely heard it. State gets in the end zone. It's 24 to 10. Storming back a little bit. I can't believe how lost Davis was on that play. He's <laughs> absolutely flabbergasted, for sure. Like, bro, you good? What happened? Alright, keep feeding Lynch. And cannot break the tackle this time of the corner. A good stop by the little guy. Four yard pickup. blocking and a good tackle again by the safety this time Lynch goes over the century mark 110 yards on 11 carries with a touchdown let's go to the air Oh my goodness, that was a terrible throw. Sorry, right, we didn't get the quarterback hurt or anything there. No contact. Try halfback screen. I do want to try to get the running backs involved a little bit more in the passing game. Oh, nice tackle. Just a two yard reception for Lynch. And it's third and eight. Montana two for five on third down today. 
Not terrible. Not great. Oh my goodness. Alright, I guess we're punting it away. Kent State with the momentum right now. They held us to a field goal on our last drive. Then they get a touchdown. And now a stop from their defense. Hey, what's going on, Jax? How you doing, buddy? Nice punt down at the 15-yard line. Beautiful. Over the middle, picked off. This time it's Mott filling in for the injured Concepcion and Papinga. That's his first pick of the season. He's usually a special teams demon. And that is huge. We're already inside the red zone with this takeaway. Here we go, Walker. Oh, he's gone. Touchdown, Montana. We switched the run from the right to the left. The defense had no idea what was happening. And look at all that green grass in front of Walker. All right. That'll extend the lead. Nice one play, 19-yard touchdown drive. And it's 31 to 10 now. comes out on kickoff and gets rocked. There's a fumble, and Kent State falls on it. Kent State coming out. Five receivers set. Stadium going bananas. Nice catch by Vogel, and he is so fast. My goodness. Nice catch and run there. Averaging 32.3 yards per catch. Oh, man. That's tough. Ninety-seven yards for Vogel. And Baker hurtling a defender. Running out of bounds. Running over the... <laughs> oh, the chain gang. That's, that's nice. And second and four coming up. Just over two minutes left in the first half. Gets the chains moving. Fourth first down of the game for Kent State. Uh-oh, not again. Nice deflection this time by Davis. He was not lost in the sauce on that one. Third and ten coming up. Again, boys. Perfect play. And I was held as well. Buchanan just tackled to the ground. Well, it'll be fourth and thirteen now after the sack. That was a safety blitz. Coach up the O-line now. Nice 
spin. Walker gets to the 25. bit of a risky throw there from White, but made it work. That's offside. This is free play here. Tried to throw that deep over the middle. Quarterback got hit. Go Lynch, big run, buddy, big run. Well, we got the first down. Had to break a tackle to get there. Up top. One on one, and Smith has it for the first down. He lays out for it. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Quarterback's on fire right now. I didn't even think he caught that. To the end zone. And it's caught by Smith. Touchdown, Montana. The jump ball works to perfection. And we are now up by four touchdowns. Third touchdown pass of the day for Brandon White. He's been phenomenal. Really precise here in the first half. out here making plays for us today. Started off a little shaky though, you know, that fumble. Penn State got on the board first. We figured it out though, we settled in. Man, there's a huge hit on kickoff. Penn State 150 yards of offense. And there's Buchanan with a nice big hit in that defensive tackle spot. Running back comparison, it's not even close. There is no comparison. Don't know if they'll actually snap the ball here. They will. And decent run from Cole. They left the timer. Now it's 38 to 10 at halftime. Kent State gets the ball to start the third quarter. We got Akron coming up next. We travel to. Ohio to take them on. Montana, 326 yards of offense so far. And there's a drop pass. Allen, 6 of 16, 142 yards, touchdown and a pick. He's having a rough day. He was hurt, but they kept him in the game. Yeah. 
Get him. Oh, that's picked. Oh, he's gone. Miller. Oh, my goodness. Dropped inside the 10-yard line. And Lance Miller has now injured his shoulder on the play. A little hurdle took all of his momentum right into the quarterback. Second pick of the day for Allen. Crowd is absolutely loving this game right now. And as Lynch breaking the tackle, gets up to the three yard line. Second down coming up. Touchdown, wide open again. They keep going with the goal line defense. And that's the fourth touchdown pass of the day for Brandon White. And we are cruising right now. Up five touchdowns in the third quarter. Forty-five to ten. And state making a lot of mistakes today. Turn. Just a strange shoulder for the young fella. Get him. Oh my goodness, it's picked again. Where is he throwing the ball right now? What up, Rocky? What's up, buddy? That was an awful throw. My goodness. I'm about to have a 50 burger in the third quarter because of all the Kent State mistakes. I mean, I don't know what the heck they're doing. It's our second drive. Third drive, actually, that we've started inside the 20 yard line of Kent State. Great field position from takeaways. And Lynch inside the five yard line. First and goal coming up. going goal line defense again but this time they do have their corners actually out on the receivers and Lynch dropped at the two yard line good tackle Dropped at the one yard line. They're doing a good job keeping him out of the end zone. Let's go QB sneak. Try to get White his fifth touchdown total of the game. And he is in. Touchdown, Montana. 50 burgers secured here today. Three interceptions thrown by Allen has resulted in three touchdowns. Rather quickly, might I add.
52 to 10. Kent State, I mean, they, they have a really good passing attack on offense. I just don't know what their quarterback's doing. I know he got hurt. Maybe that's affecting his throws in the last quarter and a half. I don't know. Just 156 yards of offense for Kent State. 349 for Montana. Nice run by Austin. He's got 25 yards today. Obviously, that is his best run of the day. Over the middle, deflected and picked again. Davis has one. That's the fourth for the defense. Not sure where he's throwing that. My goodness. The receiver was blanketed the whole time. And it's still over four minutes to go in the third quarter. Nice tackle. Hopefully we have a better contest against Akron in our next game. Oh, Walker might go. Walker, touchdown, Montana. His second of the game. Just straight speed. That safety didn't stand a chance. It looks like he ran right into the blocker. That reminds me of a play from the NFL this year. I can't remember who it was. But instead of going for the tackle, <laughs> they ran straight to a blocker. Even though the blocker was farther away than the ball carrier. And it's 59-10 to 10 now. Got to feel a little bit bad for Kent State. I mean, their quarterback... He's just having a rough day. It's going to be a big win for the Grizz. See, the thing is, like, we just know that they're going to throw it. So we're just doing man cover or zone coverage. They got their backup quarterback in now. He completes his first pass. Guess they saw enough of Allen with his four interceptions today. Let's see how the backup fares here in the second half. And that was another dangerous throw. Austin going to be running backwards. And it's third down and ten coming up. To be a very quick three and out for the Golden Flashes. And that is way out of bounds. Let's go for a block. I'm not even trying to pour it on either. But they're just... <laughs> they're not having a great day. Oh, nice tackle. I thought we had the edge. Alright, let's go dive to Lynch. Somehow gets two yards. That defensive end was in the backfield at the snap, basically.
Backup quarterback leads flashes from 49 down to win a quadruple overtime. Could you imagine? Oh, my God. I would never play this game again if that happened. All right, they're down at two. Don't, don't let a freak wreck me. I'm trying not to. Yeah, first down, Montana. At least he scored more than the Florida State in the Sugar Bowl. Oof. Yeah, that's... <laughs> what an embarrassment that game was. An absolute embarrassment. Oh, we should have made the playoff. Why? So you get 60 burger in the playoff? No thanks. Nobody wants to watch that. Oh, nice play. Fullback, what are you doing, brother? At least try to block somebody. Both of our running backs are averaging 5.5 yards per carry this season. That's pretty dang good. And just imagine when we get a good offensive line, how much better we'll be. Let's get it. Here we go. Here we go. Nice run. Man, he's having a great game. Averaging seven yards per carry against Kent State. Absolutely beautiful. We're going to put our third string half back in for the fourth quarter. Oh my goodness. Somehow Lynch gets three out of that. My goodness gracious. If it were to happen, you'd, <laughs> you'd get in touch with YouTube, make sure I couldn't stream the game ever again. Drive to my house and break the disc. That's tough, man. <laughs> All right, Xavier, take it easy, brother. Have a good night at work, man. Ah, oh, dang it. All right, that will get us to the fourth quarter. Get your fours up in the chat, boys. It's 59 to 10. Montana cruising right now. Yeah, let's get the... Oh my goodness, this overall went up 8 because of how well he's doing. Perry Lucas. Let's get him in the game. Get him some carries. Hey, Tyler, what's going on, buddy? How you doing? They're down at 4. Lucas not going to get the first down in his first carry. So we will have to settle for a 47-yard field goal try from King Henry. All right, here we go. Kick is up, and it's good. Let's go. The 60-burger, baby. Yeah, watch the baseball game. Hey, no worries, man. Like I said, you your guy has been fantastic in that series, especially in, in right field. Making phenomenal catch after phenomenal catch, laying out for the ball. That series has been a lot of fun. And it's actually, you know, gotten uh, some decent views as well, which I was really surprised at since I never played baseball on the channel before. That's pretty fun. Added another player today. Two players. Uh, actually, well, one of them will be added. You just got to make them. I'm not sure if he did yet in the Discord or not. Oh, nice. 
Nice. And that was a good throw, but Black just goes out of bounds. Press through a rocket of a throw from right field. Man, you got to see it, man. A lot of great diving plays out in that outfield so far this season. It's been really fun to watch. Our pitching's been phenomenal. It helps that we have A-plus pitching, but... Just got to work on our hitting. We do got a couple home runs on the season. Xavier hit one today, I believe. And Leon hit one yesterday. Wide open. Cooper, first down inside the 40. Now, the guys that I would expect to hit home runs in that series are just not doing it. <laughs> not at all. Like Tank Johnson, our catcher, uh, his average is under 100 right now. It's like 87 or something. Oh, Buchanan can't get there. Nice run by Austin inside the 20. He fumbles it. It's recovered by Carroll. Another takeaway for the Grizz defense. Blocking and Lucas, he's he's not very fast, but he moves the chains. It's a good run. We have 270 yards on the ground. We're just taking it to him today. Their pass defense was their strength, and we eviscerated their secondary as well. We didn't have a lot of yards, but four touchdown passes from Brandon White. Decent run. Nice little cut upfield. Julian Edelman's team can't have nice things. No, sir. Not today. Not on my watch. It's alright. He'll go win a couple Super Bowls. He'll be fine. Oh, Lucas, you're so slow, brother. All right, third and six. We're going to have to give it off to Walker. Oh, nice tackle. And yeah, we're going to punt it away. I think this is our second punt of the ball game. Solid performance from the defense today. Uh, five takeaways, I'm pretty sure. Come on, Wade, get there. I missed. But we forced another fumble. Oh, my goodness. They don't know how to hold on to it. wide open. Oh my goodness, what an absolute collision at the 30-yard line. Goodness gracious. And wide open is Peoples. And he stopped, but I think he got the first down. No, he did third inches. Nice tackle by Papinga. Get him, boys. 
Did he miss that? He barely got that. Oh my goodness. Grizz team is mad because their porridge before the game was served cold. That's <laughs> only way to heat it up is if you play good. Yes, sir. I think he caught that. Yeah, that was a nice catch on the sideline. about a catch. That was a really good throw. Call a timeout. My defense is a little bit gassed right now. And this is a big third down for us. Get him, boys. Oh, that was a cut block. One-on-one -on -one coverage, caught by Peoples inside the 20-yard line. Davis having a tough time out there in the secondary today. That's the second big pass that he's allowed. Rolling with the classic 3-4 on this play. Pass is going to be dropped. Huge hit. Drawing the ball loose. And it's picked again. Oh, he threw it right to him. This time it's Harris. Linebacker. Sixth takeaway for the defense today. I mean, he threw it right to him. Like, what are you doing, man? Got Jameis Winston out here. Get your eyesight checked, son. There's a good run for Lucas. Got 23 yards. clock down. We don't want to get any injuries to any of our offensive linemen or anybody. And Lucas somehow gets the first down on that run. Really good effort. to go in the game. Oh my goodness. Decleated. Another yard, third and thirteen coming up. I don't really want to throw it here, but I don't know how we got away from that. No, that was a not even close to where I was throwing that. Oh my goodness. That's alright, that was basically a punt. 
Coach is hyped up right now. Team down 52. I don't know why he threw it all the way towards the sideline there. Well, other than that, White was flawless today. Here's a good run from Butler. He'll pick up six. Yeah, they're not really known for their their running game, so doesn't surprise me that we've held them under 100 yards today. Get him, boys. Nice hit by Young. Right at the marker. Third and inches coming up. seconds left in the ball game and he's really gonna taunt come on man look at the scoreboard brother yes sir great game by the Grizzlies see if we can do it again against Akron with a win here in this one we are now bowl eligible on the season we're six and three and Kent State they still got a shot at a bowl game but they got to win out Big conference win for us. I mean, you can definitely see the difference in talent level between these guys and like Miami, Ohio, and like Northern Illinois, those teams. Well, this is a big win. 62 to 10. It's the final score. Take a look at the stats real quick. We had 20 first downs. They had nine. We had 450 yards of offense. They had less than 300. Both teams got sacked one time each. <coughs> we had six takeaways, five picks, and a fumble. And we fumbled once and threw a pick. Time of possession, we absolutely just eviscerated. Dead. They're gone. White, 12-17, 169 yards, four touchdowns. Not bad. Lynch with a touchdown, 160 yards. Walker, two touchdowns, 86 yards. And Brandon White had a touchdown on the ground as well. Lucas, third stringer coming in, 25 yards for him. Travis Richardson, two touchdowns. And Lamont Smith, two as well, receiving. Lance Miller, six tackles, three for a loss for the safety. Buchanan Carroll each had a tackle for loss as well. Lance Miller with a sack. Interceptions by all different players. Spreading love here. Six deflections, two forced fumbles, one recovered. And King Henry, just fantastic doing field goals as well. And punting was pretty good too. One inside the 20. Net average, 42 yards. That's pretty good for McGrew. All right, let's go take on the Akron Zips. Let's get it done. They should jump us up into the inside the top, like six or fifty five, probably. Tulane and Marshall. Tulane, one and eight on the season. Goodness gracious. I'm going to let this uh, simulate, and I'll be right back for game number two, guys.
take a look at our recruits real quick. See what we got going on here. Soft verbal from the top two guys at least. Still no visit for Sam Daniels, the right tackle. Still in his top five, though. Don't know what's taking so long there, but I really wish that these two would just commit already. All right, that guy's really jazzed about playing for us, so I like that. And we got a soft verbal from him from our visit from that game that we just played. Alabama LSU coming up this week. Here's the top 25. Michigan State lost. USC number one. Auburn, Notre Dame, Oklahoma, Florida. Let's see, number two and uh, who else lost? Number two and seven. So Miami lost to Virginia Tech. No surprise there, honestly. Louisville lost to West Virginia. That was a good game. 17-14 final. Man, Alabama absolutely killed Mississippi State. That's tough. So Alabama LSU is a top 20 showdown. Should be a good game. Michigan State lost to Purdue. Man. All right, that's the top 25. Heisman watch. Let's see what we got going on here. I mean, he's killing it. I can't remember that guy's name, but 16 touchdowns. Holy smokes. And this running back's got over 1,500 yards rushing already, nine touchdowns, 396 yards receiving. So pretty similar numbers to Alabama's running back. What we got here? Maxwell, we're not going to be on here, right? Not for Montana. Eric, nobody will be there. Best D or best quarterback, rather. Not even close. We probably won't be on there. Walker will definitely get our guy on here eventually. Still don't have enough touchdowns, I think. Wow, best tight end for Iowa. Yeah, I'm so surprised. Yeah, we're not gonna have anybody. Not yet. Be real nice if we were on the Grozo Award. Let's take a look. Um, oops. Best coach, we're number two right now. I like that. Let's look at uh, Players of the Week real quick, then we'll check out our conference, and then I want to see how many field goals Henry's made. 402 yards passing for Eric Landry out of Arizona. Four touchdowns for Robert Mitchell for Minnesota. 150 plus yards for Adrian Peterson. And nothing really crazy here. Tulsa's quarterback, four touchdowns, 375 yards. Four touchdowns for Eric Foster for Western Michigan out of the MAC. I'm not seeing like any eye-popping numbers here in Week Ten, honestly. Oh, that's pretty good. 402 yards. Oh, that's Landry again. Okay. SEC five touchdowns for him. Uh, only 109 yards though, but five touchdowns. That's pretty good. That's a good game. 160 yards rushing and 99 yards receiving for Nathan Coaster. But they lost, so how good was it, really? Boy State, five touchdown passes, 343 yards. And that is it for week 10. Let's take a look at the conference standings. We are sitting at fourth place right now in the MAC at 4 and 2 behind Toledo, Northern Illinois, and Eastern Michigan. 
All four of these te uh, top four teams are bowl eligible at the moment. Western Michigan needs one more win for bowl eligibility. Central Michigan needs two wins out of their last three games. And Miami, Ohio and Ohio both need to win out to get a bowl bid. What's up, Fresh Lot? Can't believe you missed the start of the dynasty. Oh man, you missed eight, nine games so far, brother. All right, let's look at our kicker stats. I don't, can't remember if we've missed any kicks yet. I don't think we've missed any. Oh yeah, we missed two. Okay. That's right. I, I forgot I tried some really long ones with him. Nine for 11. That was pretty good though. Not bad. Not bad at all. I love when the Grizz just casually recreates Georgia versus Florida State Sugar Bowl. Yeah, we kind of kind of just killed them right there. What about a three-game winning streak? Not bad. Now we get to travel to take on the Zips. Let's get it, boys. Hopefully our... In-season recruiting. Oh, we got a couple tough games there. Hopefully our in-season recruiting uh, can wrap up here. That would be absolutely splendid. Let's get it! And let's see. I'm trying to think what's next for streaming for tomorrow. I think tomorrow is going to be um, arena football, the playoffs, wrap up that season, and then we'll just have three series going at once. Here we go, boys! Akron, Montana, now, in the Rubber Bowl. Get it, boys. Nice play. Let's go. Nice hit on Jones. I didn't even look at the matchup, but that's all right. I just want to get into the action. Uh-oh. My goodness. If that receiver actually blocked, I mean, he's still running for six. Nearly intercepted already on just the first pass of the game from Weaver. And another pass off the mark from Weaver. It's third and ten coming up. Been sending some pressure on, on him the past couple plays. And nearly caught, but dropped. And Akron gonna punt it away. They got a first down and then three straight incomplete passes. All right, let's get that ground game working. Run 335 as well. And Lynch runs right through it for a 10 yard pickup. Second and inches upcoming. Here we go. Good run. Lynch. 
another big run up to the 43 yard line. Play. And Lynch using that speed. Gonna move the chains again. Let's go. Give him a breather. Get Walker out there for a carry. Oh man, that was a disaster. Hundred thirteenth rated defense in the country for Akron. Yeah, that's a nice tackle by the linebacker. We got ourselves a third and ten situation now. Man, we're not really good on third down. It's thirty one percent. That's one hundred eighth in the nation. Toast. Man, Smith's gonna drop it. Man, Akron's actually gonna stop us. Hold us to a punt. Got some good pressure off the edge. Force us to roll out. White, not really good throwing the ball on the run. Come on, Smith. And that's out of bounds inside the 10 yard line. Really good punt for McGrew. And that pass goes nowhere. This quarterback has yet to complete a pass in the game. I think he's 0 for 4. Don't know if that's a completion either. It is. Okay, he has his first completion. One for five on the day. And it's picked off. Moore's got one inside the 15 yard line. Just sitting in the zone. That was too easy for him. Quarterback had plenty of time to throw it. And, oh, he ran, he ran up into the pocket and got hit as he threw it. And that forced the bad pass. We're going to get a taunting penalty here. So, ball at the 29-yard line now. Already in field goal range, though, either way. And Walker, nice carry. He picks up seven. Goodness. Jailbreak Blitz. Left tackle got thrown right on his keister. Alright, we got third and four. Up top. Oh my goodness, he was hit as he threw it. It's a bad throw, and we're going to have to kick the field goal with Henry. 9-4-11 on the year. Man, that should have been a big game. Henry's kick is up, and it is good. He's 10-12 for 12 on the season now. 
And that gives Montana the 3-0 lead in the first quarter here from the Rubber Bowl. Oh, he's going to muff the kickoff. And Jones dropped just after the 20-yard line for 22. goodness nice play Southpaw carrying a defensive back up past midfield first down Akron what a play that was Zitz trying to put together a nice drive here and get on the board. And we get the quarterback sacked by Carroll. The star defensive end brings him down. Loss of four. Oh, nice run, Miller. Inside the 45-yard line. That was a 10-yard pickup. And it's third and four coming up. And, oh, my goodness, what a throw right over the head of the defensive back. Never even saw the ball. Quarterback was under pressure as well. Weaver started off a little shaky, but he's now three of eight. Three straight completions. Make that. Oh, it should have been four. That's a drop pass. Wide open, too. Another wide open guy that's south all again. Inside the 15 yard line, first down, zips. He's up to 46 yards receiving on this drive. And open, deflected, almost picked off. Akron lives to die another play. That should have been picked off. Screen plan. Oh my goodness. Southall is going to get up to the six yard line. Thought he was going to cut that to the outside. And it should have been a touchdown, but instead took it towards the middle of the field. That was his 40th reception on the year. And it's third and four coming up for Akron. And I got. Planted, but we get a nice deflection. We hold them to three. Akron looking to tie it up. It's a 23-yard field goal try by Lewis. Pick up, and it is good. Three all here in the first quarter after an 11-place 72-yard drive. So 218 off the clock. Capped off by the Lewis field goal. Got a kicker's duel today. Here's Walker. And he's going to return up to the 27. See if we can put a drive together. Oh, 
nice tackle. We're having a hard time getting to that second level. Again, stop right at the line of scrimmage. They're going to force White to throw the ball this game, I bet. That's their game plan. See how loud the rubber bowl gets. Just 14 decibels, I think, is the loudest. Oh, my goodness. Akron defense came to play, boys. Grievous gets a second sack on the season. My goodness, he just shot right through there. Come on, Wade, get there. Nice tackle by Wade at the 36. that linebacker was going to make the play. It's been a defensive battle so far here in the first quarter. Papinga with a big collision at the 47. That'll be a first down for Akron. And the final play of the first quarter as we have a low-scoring affair. It's tied up 3-3 three to three here in Akron, Ohio at the Rubber Bowl. Zips trying to win out for a bowl bid. And Montana looking for their seventh win on the season. Backwards pass, I think. Harris is going to lose yards. Lost three on the play. Carroll in the zone at defensive end for Montana. Another screen, wide open. Southall, oh my goodness, if those blockers got in front of him, he could have scored. We got lucky. And it's third down and four coming up. Montana 0 for 3 on third down. Akron 1 for 4. Neither school impressive in that stat. And that should have been picked off. The receiver never saw the ball. DB read it all the way. Just couldn't get there in time. And we hold him to another punt. Second of the game for Hill. And they're going to fake it. Look out. And we get to stop. Let's go. Darius Bush injures his elbow on the play. What a good job by the Montana special teams. Because I was not expecting a fake punt on that play. That was the, I don't even know what you would call that one. But it didn't work. Got to get this ground game working. I did not mean to spin to the outside. Okay. All right, third down and eight already. Try to go for some play action. It worked for us a bit against Kent State. And White's going to take off. He's got the first down. 
risky. That was a big hit on the quarterback to end the play. But we will move the chains. Let's try a counter. And fumble by Lynch. Recovered by Akron. Oh, boy. Forgot, can we challenge? It looked like he was down. Let's take a look at it. See if the challenge is worth it. But it looked like he hit the ground. To me. So hard to tell from that angle what happened. I don't know if this angle is going to be any better for us. I can't tell if his knee's down before the ball comes out or not. And we get the ball back. Let's go. Oh my goodness. We win the challenge. That is beautiful. Oh my goodness. Just gonna run that out of bounds. They're getting a lot of quick pressure on us, and it's third and seven. Audible here. Yeah, that's gonna be deflected away. We're gonna have to punt it. That'd be a 56-yard field goal. There's no way we make that. McGrew on for the punt. Oh, that could be a good one. Oh, my goodness. What a play. Holy smokes. Down it at the two-yard line. That was beautiful. You love to see it. Get a boys. And he's gonna go out of bounds at the line of scrimmage on that catch. Man, what a special teams play that was. That was so awesome. Second down and nine. They're gonna keep throwing it. And they're in. What the heck was that, Davis? I don't know if I let go of the stick or not. That's unfortunate. Not a whole lot of offense so far. Montana just 45 yards here in the first half. We cannot run the ball against these guys for some reason. And they keep going to Southall on these screens, and it's working out for them. They're getting positive yards almost every time. And that's a five yard pickup. Oh my goodness. That was a rough, rainy game for us. I can't get past any of these linemen. I'm getting bodied up front. There we go. Beautiful play. Got the blitz call with Miller. That worked to perfection. And we got a third and 17 situation for the defense. Let's back the secondary up. And it's picked off by Young. It's going to be a pick six for Montana. Let's go, Grizzlies. Just what we needed. Can't get anything going on offense. We'll score over the defense instead.
They went to the well too many times on those screen passes. Defense finally made them pay for it. Momentum back in our favor. Extra point up and good. It's 10 to 3 here in the second quarter. Defense. We're a little bit tired, though. Defense has been on the field for 31 plays now. Counting this one. And Jones picks up seven. They're definitely going to win the time of possession battle today. We can't get anything going on offense. hit. Third down coming up. It's a linebacker. Young. Get him young. Get him young. Oh, he missed him. That's a missed opportunity there. Young should have had the sack. Missed the quarterback. And that results in a Akron Zips first down. Quarterback in the zone now for the Zips. And he is out of bounds this time. Weaver, 13 of 24, two picks. Oh my goodness, two big hits by the defenders. That was Young hitting the ball carrier. Third down and 10. We need to stop here. I'm going to blitz a couple linebackers. Caught, but it's out of bounds. And he apparently went out of bounds. Just gonna decline it. Incomplete either way. Good stop by the defense. See if Akron actually punts it away this time or if they'll go for another fake. See if they're gonna risk it for the biscuit. Pump this one away this time. All right, two and a half minutes to go. Let's get something going on offense, please. Haven't tried an option play yet in this game. There we go. Lynch, nice stiff arm, and dropped after seven or eight yards. Gets the first down. Let's go, baby. 58 yards on 12 carries. Less than two to go in the first half. One-on-one -on -one coverage out there. Caught by Richardson at the 32-yard line. First down, Montana. Six 
significant height advantage out there for Richardson. Let's try to go play action. We scored on this play against Kent State. Not going to happen here, probably. And the tight end comes away with it. There's a flag, though, for holding. It's coming back. That's unfortunate. Really unfortunate. That was a nice play to the tight end, too. First down and 20. He's got a beat. And it's picked off. Oh my goodness. He underthrew it. That's been a problem with White this season. Inaccurate passes. All he had to do was lead him. And yeah, he barely got any power on that throw. Oh my goodness. He had a beat by a couple yards. That was probably a touchdown if he just let him downfield more. Extremely unfortunate. Uh-oh. That's not good. Come on, Moore. He's not going to catch him. There ain't no way. Touchdown, Akron. Oh, my goodness. 87 yarder. That is crazy. Biggest run we've allowed all season, of course. And Akron with all the momentum after that play. And we're all tied up, 10 apiece. 106 left in the first half. Good return down the left sideline. He fumbles it out of bounds. No, he doesn't. It's recovered by Akron. Oh, man, when it rains, it pours. That is the exact opposite of what we wanted to happen here on that return. That is so crazy. Come on, man. You gotta hold on to that football. White having a rough day. 105, 39 yards. Both quarterbacks, no touchdowns and nothing but picks. So far the scores are two field goals and a pick six for Montana and a big time 87 yard run for Akron. And there's an overthrow out of bounds. Third and ten coming up. He's wide open. Oh my goodness, Southall. That'll get him over 100 yards receiving now. Akron looking to take the lead. Davis getting killed out there in the secondary today. Both games. Let's go defense, step it up boys. Caught. Southall has the touchdown. Bapinga, linebacker out there in coverage, can't keep up with him. Zips fired the cannons. One handed catch as well. My goodness, he is a beast. 14 unanswered points from Akron. Oh, Buchanan. Oh, my goodness. Just clobbered. Still 
still got time to get something going here. 43 seconds. We got all three timeouts. They're going to boot this one off to Walker on the kickoff. And Walker down the sideline. Good return up to the 39. That's beautiful. That's exactly what we needed. Got him. Wilson's got it. Inside the 30-yard line. First down, Montana. That was a great throw. Try it again. To the end zone. Wilson again. Touchdown. Just like that. The Grizz about to tie it up. Safeties are lost out there. Got their heads in the clouds. Couple beautiful throws from Brandon White. And that knocks the momentum meter back to the middle. No momentum for anyone. Extra point is up, and it is good. 17 all, 25 seconds left in the half. That was a huge drive, and it just took 13 seconds. They didn't know what to do against that no huddle. Oh no. Ahmad got crushed again. Alright, we cannot allow any points here. They have 17 more plays on offense than we have. 41-24. Good run. Oh no, the, <laughs> the referee out there blocking our safety. And they have 132 yards rushing up the middle. That's all of their rushing yards. My defense, stand tall, boys. And Harris, the tight end, picks up seven. They're going to go no huddle. I think they only might have only have one timeout left. We're going to see Hail Mary. Got three receivers to the right. South Hall in the slot. That's their go-to guy. Get him. Get him, boys. I don't know what that... What is that? Oh, we're going to decline that. And it's halftime, all tied up. We're getting some good pressure on him. Six hurries, but only one sack. Two quarters remain in the game. We get the ball to start the third quarter. Anybody's ball game. Thornton, what are you doing, brother? Benko, I don't know who you are, but good return after that buffed kick return. All right, play action worked on our last touchdown drive. Let's see if we can go back to that. They have nearly double our yards of offense. Let's change that here. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Smith is out there, and he lays out for it. First down inside the 35-yard line. Another big-time catch by Smith. The one thing we do have is the height advantage between the receivers and the defensive backs. So any chance we can get at throwing some jump balls one on one, we're gonna try we're gonna try to take those shots. Running back, oh we had him beat too. That was a terrible throw by White. Let's go to the ground now with Lynch. Been a little bit quiet in this game. And that's why there's... Oh my goodness. I don't know how he did any of that. <laughs> but he gets it inside the red zone. Down to the 19.
Beautiful. That's a backwards pass. Just had to get rid of it. That's really unfortunate. Loss of six on the play. They had quick pressure. Fullback. Nice deflection. Where the heck did he come from? Alright, we can't mess anything up here. We're in field goal range. I don't want to miss out on points. We're just two for six on third down. We definitely have to fix that next season. For the end zone. And we got him. Wilson. Touchdown, Grizzlies. Let's go, baby. We got the lead. This has been a battle. That was a great corner, Ralph. That was a wobbler, but it got there. Four seventeen, we got the lead. That was a six-place, seventy-three-yard touchdown drive. Took less than a minute. Holding, clipping, very nice, very nice. Now they have the ball at their own eight-yard line to start this drive. We're going to blitz. We're going to throw everything we've got at them right now. Yeah, that was a bad throw. Pressure got to him so quickly. These boys like to throw it. Get him. Nice play by Miller. Fourth tackle on the day. And third down and eight from the ten yard line. And that's going to be well overthrown. Akron will have to punt it away. Weaver's thrown it 34 times already in this game. Come on, Walker. Breaks the tackle. Gets it up to about the 42. Yes. And good run by Lynch. One of his best of the day. That was a nine yard pickup. He's got 75 yards today. tackle that was oh my goodness probably just saved the touchdown
That was not a good decision. Oh no. And Brown is going to take this the distance. That is so unfortunate. Didn't help that white guy hit again as he threw it. Man, pick six for both teams in this game. Akron with the momentum back in their favor. And we're all tied up again, 24 all. Let's go, Wilson. Nice catch and run up to the 45-yard line. Almost threw the ball too far away from him. One-on-one -on -one coverage. Smith to the end zone. Got him. Touchdown. Breaking a tackle as well. Just beat the corner. Right at the line of scrimmage. And a nice response from White. After throwing that pick six to come back out. Stay in that pocket. Deliver a strike for six. back. It's 31-24 now. Here in the third quarter. Tackle by Cohen. He could have got much more than three yards on that play. And now a good throw from Weaver, who is getting closer and closer to 40 yards or uh, 40 pass attempts this game. Southall does not have it in bounds. Akron will have to punt it away. Back to the ground attack. Try to get some quality yards out of Lynch. And that was a good run.
this should be a first down. Yes, sir. 15 first downs now for Montana. 11 for Akron. Let's throw a toss out to Walker. And offsides. Give me no play action. This is a play that we scored a touchdown on before the end of the first half. Except this time it's Fenner going up the seam. Man, what a quick strike to Richardson. Didn't think that was going to work. A quarterback choice, basically a read option. And Lynch breaks one tackle, picks up two yards though. He's up to 90. Jones is 109 yards. One carry was 87 yards, though. zone got him again it's Smith touchdown Montana that's two straight games for Brandon White having four touchdown passes just had him one on one again jump ball too easy for Smith and this is our biggest lead of the game now about to be up by 14 it's been a tough game. It really has. Akron came to play today. Next point up and good. 38-24 now here in the third quarter. But doing a good job of keeping their speed in front of us on defense. That's been the biggest factor for us. We run a lot of zone defense. We don't really have the speed right now to do man coverage at the moment. Weaver looking to throw. Left side caught by Jones. Picking up nine. Majin Rutherford, what's going on, brother? What's happening, man? How you doing? Hope you're having a great day. Second down and two for the Zips. And I got pressure, and it's picked off. The user interception by Davis. Had to click on him because, I mean, he was going to let that be a big-time reception. And we don't want that. No big-time catches for you guys. Yeah, he was about to just not even see where that ball was. Picking up five. You're just about to play some college football. Nice. Which game are you playing? And Lynch gets a couple more. He's in the zone now. Let's go halfback blast. And Lynch going to fight for it. Man, he really had to work for that first down. 
And that gets him over the century mark. 102 yards on 22 tries for Lynch. Wide open, Smith, one-on-one, -on -one, and he caught it and dropped it. Oh, no, Smith. Say it ain't so, brother. That was almost a fantastic play. Got to watch out for their linebacker. He's in the zone. Take off, Brandon White. To the 30, and dropped at the 26. That was a really good run from the quarterback. We're going to let that take us to the fourth quarter. Montana is up 38-24. It's been a really close game. Uh, just a couple of nice plays here in the third quarter has allowed Montana to extend the lead, uh, the biggest margin of lead uh, in the game so far by 14. Akron with their bowl bid hopes still alive. They gotta win out, they gotta beat us, they gotta win their final two games after that as well. But they still got a shot, so they're gonna give us everything they've got. We have to keep our foot on the gas as Lynch picks up four. Go power option. Oh my goodness, I don't know how he was able to pitch that. Nice stiff farm by Lynch. And another. Oh my goodness. Inside the 10 yard line first and goal. Montana. What a run. Pretty good in the red zone, I think. 86%, not bad. Could be better, that's offsides. Gets the carry up to the two-yard line. Then the bell cow today. And Lynch is going to break a tackle and punch it in, extending the lead to three touchdowns now. That might be enough to put this one away. The second half has definitely went in Montana's favor. The lead is now up to 21 points. After nine play, 52 yard touchdown drive to 217 off the clock for the Grizz. See what Akron can do on this next drive. Weaver in the shotgun. They're going to screen pass. It doesn't work this time. Showing 39 passes today. One touchdown, three picks. He's wide open. And Wade pushes him out of bounds at the line of scrimmage. Nothing doing on that play. Now third and ten. 
40 attempts for Weaver. They have been slinging it. If he was a bit more accurate, they'd probably have the lead. Another screen pass, this time to Bell, and he's going to move the chains for the Zips. Wide open, Southall gets the first down, or close to it. Second down and one coming up. He's got about seven or eight catches today. And they're going backwards on that play. What are they doing? Looking to throw it. He should have just took off. He would have had the first down, but they're going to get us for pass interference. Okay. That'll be a first down for Akron. That's unfortunate for the defense. Been playing really good football here in the second half. Quarterback just pancaked the defensive tackle. You don't want to see that ever again. <laughs> oh, that's terrible. He's the backup, but still. Come on, Davis. Get it together, brother. All right, third down and six. Akron 4 for 12, Montana 4 for 8 on third down tries. Davis falling down at the deep tackle spot. That was deflected at the line of scrimmage it looked like. That was a really awkward play. Looked like the ball, let's take a look at that replay actually. It looked like his arm might have hit his running back. Yes, that's exactly what happened, folks. He's lucky he didn't break his arm on his teammate's helmet. That's something you see every day. That could have resulted in a pick. His own running back getting in the way. Incomplete turnover on downs. Good stand by the defense. And Lynch dropped in the backfield. Offensive lineman getting bullied up front. Lost two. showing that we are a second half team in this game and nice run by Lynch nearly got the first down it was an 11 yard pick up third and one coming up Get the ball to Walker on a slam on third down. And he's got the first down easily inside the 35. Trying to 
and run this clock down. Get out of here with the dub. Still plenty of time for crazy things to happen, so I don't want them to get the ball back with a lot of time at all. Oh, nice tackle. That's unfortunate. Thought we were going to be able to get to the outside there. Toss play to the left coming up. And no blocking. That's unfortunate. Third down and 14. Just kept going backwards on that. Well, those last couple plays. this okay good play by white and that actually probably got us in field goal range to be a 49 yard try for King Henry he can make this for sure that was a clutch broken tackle there Henry's kick is up, and he's got it. It's 48-24 now. 2.25 left in the game. Oh, I got crushed. All right, defense, let's finish strong, boys. I got pancaked out of my mind. And another drop pass for Akron. Open. That's Mark. He's going to pick up six yards. Get him, boys. And Harris is not going to get enough for the first down. Let's see if Akron will go for it. And they will go for it. Fourth and one. Man, they are not going to get it. That was a terrible play call. My goodness. Not sure about that play calling there. run the clock down and just get out of here with the win. Looks like they took their starters out. Oh, nice tackle. Caught him by the ankle. Yeah, we're just going to kneel it. Play it safe on this play. White played the game for Montana. 285 yards passing, four touchdowns. 
So eight touchdown passes the last two games. Very impressive. And they call a timeout. That's all right. We're going to kick a field goal. It'll be 41 yard try for Henry. That'll give us 50 burger. And that is right down the middle. 51 24 with 30 seconds left. Nice tackle by Mott. First tackle of the stream, I think. He did have the pick against Kent State. Filling in for the injured linebackers. And Buchanan gets a tackle. <laughs> oh my goodness. Superman dive. So the first down carry for Akron. And then they're going to come up and taunt. Down 27. 22 seconds left. Backwards pass, and Harris has it. Nice stiff arm. Picks up four yards. And nearly throws the pick on the sideline. Third down coming up. They are 4 for 14. We are 5 of 11 on third down. I cannot break that sack attempt. Oh, no. Oh, my goodness. I did not mean to hit square. South, 134 yards on nine catches today. Man, three defenders all around him. They've got one timeout left. Are they going to call it here, or are they just going to snap it? They're just going to snap it, and they're going to hand it off. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Do all that throwing just to run on the final play. That's the final score, 51-24. Akron's bowl game hopes are dashed here today. Yeah, pretty, uh, pretty good victory here for Montana. We... Uh, had a close game in that first half. Second half, we came out fired up, made a lot of plays. And I don't even know if Akron scored in the second half. I'm going to have to look at the box score. But heck of a performance there in the second half from Montana defense. Absolutely lights out. And we are now seven and three on the season. They are three and seven. We had 445 yards of offense. They were killing us in the first half with offense. Like we barely had any. Both quarterbacks got sacked once. Each team had three turnovers. We threw two interceptions. Lost a fumble. Time of possession. They were also leading that as well. That second half came around. My goodness. Okay, they scored one touchdown in the second half, and we <laughs> we put up 34 points in the second half to pull away in the end. Weaver threw 51 passes, 250 or 225 yards, one touchdown, three picks, and the running back ran for 131 on us. Maybe if they ran the ball more in the second half, they would have won. Or at least it would have been closer. So eight touchdowns and three picks for Brandon White in the last two weeks. Lynch, 128 yards and a touchdown on the ground. He had a really quiet day. Nine broken tackles. Wilson over 100 yards receiving. Smith over 100 yards receiving, both with two touchdowns. Richardson, two catches, 53 yards. Wade led the team with seven tackles. Miller and Papinga each had six. We had six tackles for loss as a defense. One sack by Kevin Carroll. Three interceptions, all by different players again. 
deflections, Papinga and more. No forced fumbles in this one. And Dennis Young with a pick six. Henry three to three field goals. They gave him credit for a 50 yarder. And punting was amazing. That down punt at the two yard line was so good. All right, let's simulate the week. I believe we've got uh, Wisconsin next. And one of the Michigan teams. <laughs> Can't remember which one. Who we got? Central Michigan. Those are our last two regular season games. Wisconsin, Central Michigan. We'll simulate the rest of week 11. We'll take a look at our recruits. Uh, hopefully they all commit. Well, at least two of them can commit right now. So hopefully they do that. So I can just dump 100 points into that third guy that is still sitting at a top five list right now. And USC still undefeated. Tennessee beats Arkansas 38-17. Hawaii wins in overtime. Mandy beats Kentucky. Arkansas State fighting for a bowl game beats Middle Tennessee State by a field goal. We're seven and three. Wisconsin is seven and four, and we have a commitment. My number one guy that I really, really wanted to get the six foot nine, two hundred seventy five pound tackle, Jonathan Cobbs, has committed to Montana. Let's go, boys! Beautiful. You love to see that. All right now we go fifty fifty here. All right, we're down to the final two or three schools for Sam Daniels as well. We're still in the lead. We're beating USC and Texas Tech for him. So he's going to visit when we take on Central Michigan in our final game of the year, our senior day. And we still got the soft verbal from Keith Lindsey, the wide receiver. Really need to get him 4-3-5 speed. His hands are A-plus. We need him. Got to have him. But really excited to get that tackle. Really happy about that. Check out the top 25. USC still number one, getting all the first place votes. And yeah, rightfully so. They defeat Oregon 51 to seven. Auburn shuts out Georgia 34 nothing. Good Lord. And there's no movement in the top. Holy smokes, no movement in the top 24. The only movement we see is Alabama and Michigan swapping places because Alabama beat LSU in a top 20 showdown. Michigan crushed Indiana. I mean, other than that, there wasn't really much movement. Boise State jumps up there in the top 25 to 22. Ohio State's up there now, 23rd. Utah and LSU drop to 24th and 25th, respectively. I mean, that's not a bad loss for LSU. I mean, come on. I know they're 6-4, and four, but it's Alabama. Check out the Heisman watch. See if there's any movement here. Parham is now in the lead. And Brady Quinn, a.k.a. Downey Bird, is number two. So the running back from Alabama had to have gotten hurt because he was number one. He's dropped, he's dropped completely off the list. Not even going to bother looking at the semifinalists because we're not on any of them, except for head coach award. Players of the week, let's check it out. Five touchdown passes for Terry Hawkins for NC State. Uh, let's see, anybody, anything else interesting? Two interceptions and a forced fumble and a touchdown for Brent Robinson, free safety from Iowa. Quarterback for... Oklahoma State had over 100 yards rushing, five total touchdowns. Good game from Hodges as well. Over 200 yards rushing for Warren Peoples, three touchdowns for UTEP. 12 catches, 195 yards, three touchdowns for Matt Hopkins for Notre Dame.
143 yards rushing for Marcus Harris and 100 yards receiving three total touchdowns for the Beaver halfback. Over 200 yards rushing for Micah Grigsby for Bandy and they went over Kentucky. Over 200 yards rushing for Ryan Robinson out of Troy. Three touchdowns, also a touchdown catch. And Nick Stevens, freshman quarterback, almost 400 yards passing, five touchdowns for Nevada. Conference standings, we are number two. Toledo is number one right now. And they have to face Ball State next. The quarterback, 26 touchdowns, 13 picks. Our quarterback, I mean, we're getting there. We'll probably get 2,000 yards this season. Maybe 20-something 20 some, 20 touchdowns, most likely. But we're doing pretty dang good, folks. But that's going to do it for this stream today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you did, please slap that like button on your way out and subscribe if you are new. Also, join our Discord community. There's a link in the description below for that. But that's it for me, guys. And until tomorrow night, take it easy, guys.